Hey everybody, Hugh here. Welcome back. In this episode, we're going to pot up some bulbs of Fritillaria imperialis, the yellow version of them. According to the RHS manual, the spring flowering bulbs with pale green leaves, carried in whorls of leafy stems, and they have up to five widely bell-shaped yellow flowers crowned by small leaf-like bracts. Very attractive indeed. They come from these bulbs that you can see in the tray and uh, I grow them in pots because they really don't like soil or s heavy soil to grow in heavy soil so around here I find that uh, growing in pots works very very well now um, this is their second year for these particular bulbs so I've taken them out of their pot and uh, cleaned them off and removed any debris um, just to check that there was no vine weevil present and uh, Vine weevil, of course, will eat roots and tubers and, and bulbs and so on and so forth. So I want to just check that there was nothing there. So re And to give these then a little bit of freshening up of the compost that they're going to be going in. Now, Fritillaria, they really dislike the heavy soil, as I said. So as they're going back in, you can see two things are happening here. The first is that the soil has had plenty of grit and stones mixed in with it. Um, so it's very very well drained because they just don't like to sit in that uh, waterlogged compost or even overly wet compost. The second thing I'm doing is I'm putting the bulbs in on their side. Can you see that? They're going in on their side like so and that's going to stop rainwater or slow down rainwater getting lodged in the middle of the bulbs um, which can happen very very easily. It'll be interesting to see how well these flower in their second year um, given that of the three of them that I had last year two did very well and one didn't flower just produced some some stems so I'm going to be very very interested in them. I have had them in growing in pots uh, before where they've lasted oh maybe five seven years I think in their pots with just constantly repotting, refreshing the soil. Um, from what I remember, it was one of the very cold winters that they didn't survive in their pots. So it's nice to have them back again, it's nice to have them flowering and uh, growing. And already there's some lovely fresh uh, roots. So they are dying to grow. We're not going to see very much of them above ground when they'll actually produce their big long flower shoots. To help them, to help them get by over winter, uh, I will keep the container in a very sheltered position, possibly in a, a cold frame or a, a, a cool grow frame, um, just so the very the coldest of colds that we might get doesn't get into them. Um, but happy to see them back, and happy to be repotting. I'd say that these are the two that flowered last year lovely big big bulbs and this is a smaller one so we'll see what comes of it i wonder should i be putting them into separate pots at this stage as they're so close all right good question for anyone that is used to growing them they can advise for this year however they're all going to be like peas in a pod together now look what i found some lovely bulbils coming off the main roots of them there as well so these are equally going to be potted into a separate pot what i'd call a, a long tom or a long uh, three liter pot using the same sort of enriched compost mix with plenty of grit added the compost that i'm using is a mixture of my own compost some bought a sieve topsoil plenty of this farmyard manure added and of course some seaweed for a handful of seaweed fertilizer and a handful of bone meal so it makes for a lovely rich mix so there we go i'm going to pot them on or pot them up and uh, get these into a pot as well so there you go 
the Frigillaria imperialis bulbs planted. These, are, I should say, are the lutea ones, which means they're yellow. So the yellow ones, um, if you do go to look them up. And uh, you'll see them in the pictures that I'm showing as well. Anyway, as always, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. Hope everyone's keeping well. And uh, catch you on the next one. Bye for now.